Hey, good morning. I tell you what, it's been getting hot outside, so I tried to get things done very early in the morning. And it is just five before five. So I'm going to hit the button here. And uh, I'm testing out this jig bore over here. I've got this um, Criterion with a tenth set adapter collar. This is a Criterion item. They don't make it anymore. So I'm trying to test the accuracy of the setting column, collar anyway, and um, I'll punch a hole with it and we can watch that. Watch an old jig bore punch a hole. See, we are in gear. That's in gear, so I'll fire it up here. Yeah, I got about um, oh, 10 thousandths depth or so in a cut here, and uh, I'll feed it at um, three quarters of one thousandths. I'll speed it up to a thousand. See if this thing uh, will be happy about. <laughs> Not exactly sensitive. <laughs> That's pretty good. 993. Okay, I'll engage the power feed. Here's the clutch here on the wheel. You can you can start it with the hand wheel like this. I don't know if I actually dialed anything in on that. Oh, I did, just barely. Hey, I'm gonna. Um, Stop this. I rotated the collar back here. So I'm, I cut, that's why I did the touch. Whoop, pull this back, just like that. Get that there, and I'm going to quickly dial in. Another... 10,000th depth, which would be 20 on this dial. Ah. These things are hard to read when they're this small. Now this is a square head here, and I kind of prefer them if you can use them, if you can fit them in, because they have more bearing surface than the round ones. Okay, let's get a little more lube in there. Yeah, I got that collar at zero, everything's locked up there. And I'll take a cut with it here. Okay, fire it up. Get it in gear. Clunk. And there we go. Okay. about a three-quarter inch hole. A little piece of uh, scrap aluminum. Just yeah, stand back and look at this thing, huh? It's about eight feet tall. Seems to be doing okay. That's run about a thousand RPM and three quarters of a thousand speed.
<laughs> I think that's through there. Put it in neutral, shut it off. It's got a break here. Okay. And you could just crank that right up. Now, the neat thing about a jig board, see, if you want to measure that, if this was a regular milling machine, you'd have to crank the table over lower than me or do something. With this, I'll set this back here. And I think you can see me do that from that angle. Okay, you can lift this lever here and pull it up with that spider wheel. Ah, takes two hands. And then you can take and measure it, see? Lift it up, measure it, and then... Uh, I just kind of want to get an idea with this uh, collar. I'm not going to do anything fancy. I'm just going to stick... Um, Oh, a caliper in there. Oh, that's, uh, I'm hitting numbers pretty good doing what I'm doing. Yeah, 705. Yeah, 0.705 there. So now this collar, the tenth set collar, sets in tenths of thousand. <laughs> and it says zero to 30 on the scale here. And I'll show you just how tricky this thing is. You have to make a special Allen wrench. And then right here, it says lock. And you get your special Allen wrench under there. Told you it was tricky. Maybe you can see it from here. Okay. Then you gotta find it. <laughs> it helps if you can see it, and I'll tell you something, that is a difficult thing to see. I guess you'd call this a fiddly attachment. Uh, they don't make this anymore. <laughs> they, they came up with something else. I tell you what. It's really, really hard to get that in there. Okay, this is crazy. I'll be back. Wow, I got it in there. <laughs> so I loosened the lock guy. Okay, yeah, I hate to take that out. Maybe I can lay it like that. Okay, now it's got a scale. Right here, zero to 30. And I wanna turn it to 20. And I got, took an old screwdriver that was destroyed and uh, cut it off, happens to fit Exactly. Wrote, whoop, oh, I knew that wouldn't work. Let's see, let's get that to, uh, let's see, here we go. I'm gonna roll it back and forth a couple times here. There's like a, a motion you gotta take up. Okay, on 20. Let's see if I'm lucky I can get this thing in there and lock it. I 
I don't think I got it. Okay, I got it. All right. Okay, so let me see from here. Watch me do this crazy stuff. Okay, to lower this thing, here's the lock here. Okay, lower it with a spider. I think I need a little more counterweight in this one, but this is the way it was always set up. Right about there, you lock it, and you want to put the same torque on this every time. And no matter what you do on a machine like this, you want to go behind yourself and check for the dial indicator. Okay, here we go. Got some of that wax lube. Okay, fire this thing up in gear. Okay, let's try it again. I'll bring it on down with the hand crank. Oh, <laughs> that just does a, a bare skim cut. It's a very early version of a Moore number two, and it's uh, the second version was greatly improved as far as uh, being quiet. A little bit noisy on the drive on this. Okay, I'm going to raise the head up. Get the tool clear. Well, I just did a little skin cut. Okay. And what did I do with that? There it is here. Take and measure that hole. I hope you can see it. it's got a nice finish in that hole. Looks real, real good. And it read 705. And that took out. Two thousandths. That's okay. So it says twenty. That's twenty ten thousandths on this dial. So this dial up here has a, a range of thirty. Thirty ten thousandths has a three thousandths range. That's pretty interesting. Um, I had bad luck with. Uh, the head that this came with, which was um, the uh, this one here, the regular round style. But I can use any of these uh, criterion small heads, including that one there. 
which is a, the next size smaller than, uh, what is this, an S2 criterion head. Okay, let's go over to uh, the cutter grinder real quick here. And this is what I got going here. I got uh, one of those cutters on the arbor. This is the milling machine arbor. And I got a ratcheting finger here. See that? It grabs every single tooth. And I'm going to put on my tilting attachment, which is my tool post grinder. An old trick people used to do with these old machines that don't have a tilt head. And I'm going to grind these angles and give it a try on there and see if I can make a cutter uh, cut evenly. It sounds like a lot of fun to me. Okay, I will be back with that.